Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope everything is well. Everything is good with me. I look so dark, y'all, right? I don't know what it is. Y'all. The story with to me. What's up with her name? With Tamia? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's getting creepy, y'all. It's getting creepy. Tamia, Tamia Taylor. I spoke about it the other day, two days ago. The first story was that she was missing for 48 hours. This is the first story, y'all, okay? Y'all know I said she was missing for 48 hours. Let's read this. They said, Tamia Taylor. She's a mother, a beautiful mother of two, a boy and a little girl. Mm -hmm. She's 25, 21 years old. She's from Mississippi. Uh huh. Hernando, Hernando, Mississippi. And they said that she was missing for 48 hours. Okay. This is the first story I, that they told. They said they was on a cruise ship. This is what they were saying. This is just the first story. I'm just saying what the first story was. That to, to I was, let's say Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor had to use the restroom. So they said Miss Taylor put her phone down and she went to the restroom. So now her three friends had got up and went by the door and had left. So they this is what they mom this is what the mother said the other day. Why would her friends leave her? This is what she said. The mom is on television. She's asking, why would they leave her? Yes, I, I get it. So now, we have a gentleman, one of her friends, Mr. Jenkins, getting upset that it feel like we attacking them because, like, we was the ones that had did something to her. Bro, ain't nobody said you did them only thing we saying is there's too many stories going around it's just way too many stories y'all saying now that three y'all three when she wouldn't first y'all said this guy had bought her a drink uh -huh. y'all said this guy had bought her a drink and she was key 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 with him or whatever the case may be so y'all act like y'all really basically wasn't with her because if she's over there key 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 with somebody somebody buying her a drink um i don't know what's going on this is what y'all said mm -hmm. so now mr jenkins is all up in arms now he's like he's upset so he was like because people coming at them saying like you know like they did something to her you understand so now mr jenkins said that he was trying to tell his story, and he said that they was looking around on the sh on the on the boat, the um cruise boat, for Miss Taylor. Mm hmm. They couldn't find her, so now they was like, you know, like fifteen minutes had went by when she had went to the to the restroom. So that's what made them go look for her. This is the second story, y'all. I'm just telling y'all the second story. This is the second story, okay? So, because the first story, they never said they went around looking for her. But, hey, but, I got a butt here, y'all. I got a And after the cruise. You saw her off that boat. Yeah. Their search for answers got them in touch with Jay Munn, a golf cart taxi driver who says he saw it to me and Taylor with two women and a man after her cruise returned to port. Now, y'all, y'all see the man say he seen her with the friends. They say she looked at, he said to him, he she looked at intoxicated. So why y'all saying that she's missing? If she was seen off the boat with y'all, what is going on? He said he's a witness. He said that he know what he's seen. He said it. So what, y'all? We're gonna go through this again, like the Carbo Six. Remember the Carbo Six? So what we gonna call y'all the Memphis Three? Tell us what the hell happened to Miss Taylor. She has two beautiful children. Two. 
two beautiful children. Her mom is begging. Did you hear her? She's begging to get her daughter. She even had to she even had to say not alive or alive. I'm hoping she's alive, y'all. I don't understand what's, why, what what happened. What happened? I mean, come on. Please do not repeat this here. We we cannot go through the three Memphis people that done did something to this poor young Miss, L L Miss Taylor. Come on, please. Her mother is begging. Y'all are telling too many damn stories. Y'all ain't getting your stories together. I even read today. I've read like 15 damn stories today that... Mr. Jenkins was saying. He was the one that's coming out and he keeps saying that. They keep saying like we did something to her. We hurt her or any type of way. Bro, nobody not saying none of that. You know what I'm saying? We only saying that because we have a man that drives a golf cart or whatever he drives. He said he's seen her with y'all. And he said she looked intoxicated. So where the story come from where y'all was running around on the boat looking for her when he said he seen y'all with her off the boat? What's going on? Get your story straight. The other two people that's worth her, the two other workers that these y'all supposed to be work friends, okay? I don't know. Maybe the other two will speak out. I don't know. I just hope you give her mom some asses. She deserved that. She really do. She deserved that. I think what y'all doing is really messed up. And Mr. Taylor, Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Jenkins is getting all upset and everything because people is putting rumors out. Nobody putting no rumors out of nothing, bro. Like what the man said. He said he's seen y'all together. How this man ain't never seen y'all a day in y'all life? And he said one man and two 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 women and to and and, and Miss. And Miss um Miss Taylor. He never seen how he just come up with that. How he just come up with that? Tell me. Y'all tell the truth. We gonna find out. I'm just praying to God that this don't be like the Cobble Six, y'all. I swear to God, please don't be the Cobble Six. Cause this is gonna be the daggone Memphis three. Y'all. Please, please, just give us whatever information you may think is not important. It may be more important than you think. Such a desperate plea from a mother of a missing woman. She says her daughter, Tamia Taylor, went missing after a booze cruise on the Mississippi River late Saturday night, celebrating her 21st birthday. Today, our cameras were rolling when officers were on site at Memphis Riverboats off of Riverside Drive. Now, that's where we find Fox 13's Jack Bilyeu live right now. Jack, tell us what you saw today. We saw officers coming and going from the docks here all day. Meanwhile, those cruises uh, just kept going. Now, take a look down there. In a statement, the company said they have no reason to believe that Taylor went overboard, but harbor patrol boats circled the area anyway. This is a very painful situation. This is very painful. Memphis police in uniform and plain clothes were all over the Memphis Riverboats dock. Harbor patrol boats floated alongside one of the cruises while it made its trip. But it's not just the police investigating. Taylor's family's running an investigation of their own. Their calls for information got them this image, a screen grab from a video taken on the deck of a riverboat where Taylor's seen standing in the background. It also got them a witness who claims he saw her on dry land after the cruise. You saw her off that boat. Yeah. Their search for answers got them in touch with Jay Munn, a golf cart taxi driver who says he saw Tamia Taylor with two women and a man after her cruise returned to port. She was intoxicated and she was, you know, very intoxicated and she was with some other people. He says he offered the group a ride, but they turned him down and headed south on Riverside Drive on foot. She walked away and she walked toward 
Tom Lee Park. Munn says he didn't think much of it at the time and headed off to find another fair. But days later, he saw her pictures and heard what had happened. He says the moment it all clicked was surreal. You know, like, hey, maybe I've seen this person for the last time. He says he wishes he'd known that night what he knows now, that maybe things would be different. My heart go out to the family. I just, you know, wish it was something more that could have been done or, you know, but hindsight is twenty twenty. A Memphis police is urging anyone with information on the case to reach out to either the Memphis Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Now, this man is adamant about he's seen him. You, hear, you, you, you heard him? He's so sure about it. He's like, I seen them. I seen them. Even the police and the boat people are saying, you know, they even showed a screenshot of her and the two young ladies together. Like, they're saying she didn't go over that boat. She did not go. They, they're saying she did not go over that boat. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm going to go. Y'all hit that like button and subscribe. But I'm going to say this here. My heart goes out to her mom. And I wish the three friends would come forward and um, tell the truth. You know. I mean, accidents happen, and someone seen you with 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 her, and we're gonna keep following this story. I don't know. What we're gonna call it. Is we gonna call it the Memphis Three? Because I don't know. But Mr. Jenkins is getting very upset about you know people coming at them, saying that you know he they think that they hurt her you know listen clear it up clear it up we're here for it you understand we are here for it my heart goes out to her mom we're gonna keep you in prayer we're gonna keep on searching for her they ain't giving up it's gonna be other youtubers go pick this story up we're gonna be on you we're gonna be on you yes we are we are going to be on you we are going to be on you. You know, no one is, like I said, is accusing you. But I'm only, I showed you where the young man said he saw y'all. And the, the the people that owned the boat said, no, she didn't go over. She did not go overboard. She didn't go overboard. They know it. They're out there looking for her. Yes, they are. They are looking for her. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. Hit that like button and subscribe. Love y'all. And y'all take care of each other now. Don't be like these here, Mr. Three. Okay?